it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, I'm sorry I haven't been doing too many videos in the last couple of weeks. It's been kind of a hectic, crazy time, all positive stuff. But today I just got in the mail a box from Tamiya USA and inside of it we have two of the, the new kits that were just shown off at the, uh, the Japanese toy show just at the beginning of May. And Tamiya USA was kind enough to get us out some early samples. And actually I'm a little surprised too, they're actually a little bit further along in the production than I actually thought they were. We actually have box art for the, uh, the new m 4 a 3 Easy 8 Sherman from Tamiya in 40A scale, as well as the new Type 16 Japanese Self-Defense Force vehicle. This is in 35th scale. And we also have some new products, some cable and some new polishing compound sponges, something new from Tamiya there. But we'll talk all about that in a few minutes there. One other quick thing too before we get started, a question that I get all the time is people asking to see inside my hobby store. And I always take for granted that many of you are thousands and thousands of miles away and don't get a chance to come in and take a look. So what I thought I would do is just take just a minute or two, I'm going to just quickly take the camera and just quickly buzz around the entire store, say a few things about it. Uh, it'd be no more than two minutes tops on it right there. And that way it'll give you guys an idea. I am very, very thankful though. A lot of you are coming out to actually visit. When you're visiting Phoenix, you stop by and it's great to see all of you and absolutely humbled by the experience of having you guys come in just to see me and the store. So thank you so much for that. Now, after I show you that the, uh, the little video of this will be right after the intro, I do plan on building both of these models. So these videos will be the next two model videos coming out basically. So let's get started on it. the outside of the store so let's take a look inside okay as we start off here uh, right off to the front to the right right when you walk in we have all of our t-shirts and magazines and that's the camera tripod set up to actually film this video over in this area and through here we have kind of like a little makeshift studio this is where I film all my videos we've got our big uh, monitor screen over there with some of our camera equipment still set up this is where we do the live feeds as well as all the building now right in back of that we have our display case this angle is obviously pretty familiar to all of you guys it's in the intro of all the videos over in through here this section is my discount rack and this changes all the time because this is where we get model collections in from guys that either have too much or changing what they want to build so we always get some really cool stuff in there down over here we have all of our books and magazine or excuse me just books this is our new release section in through here over on this side we have value gear paint or some paint I should say glue super glue some of the Vallejo pigments and washes some of the MIG washes some of the Tamiya stuff and then it goes right into this side of the entire part of the store this is all of our armor and I'll kind of pull back a little bit we've got it stacked to the ceiling right now and I get about usually two or three loads of new product in every week to keep that all nice and full over on this side we have all kinds of our airplane kits including now we're going to be carrying all the wingnut wings in fact I have a huge huge box of wingnut wings coming in tomorrow in fact quickly go to the back over here we've got all of our sci-fi our Gundam Star Wars and uh, some of the bigger ships and things on top and then over in this section through here we have all of our model ships as we come along here we've got our wall of paint and model cars all on this side here and then of course all the tools paint brushes things like that Okay, now that we've taken a look inside the store, let's take a look inside this new kit. And the very first one we have up is the Type 16 Maneuver Combat Vehicle, Japanese Self-Defense Force, or Ground Self-Defense Force, I should say. And from what I understand, this kit is actually going to be due out here in the United States in August, so not too, too far off. And, 
And as you can see, it's the typical white prototype box, but they did give us a sticker of what the box art's gonna look like, so that's nice. So expect to see the box art looking like that. And then I'm just gonna move this over to the side and we're just gonna break down the individual parts, or sprues, I should say. And at the very end of, the, of me talking, I'll have them laid out and you can take a closer look at them if you want. Now we have two sprues here. These are two identical sprues. These are the wheels, brakes, suspension parts on it. Very straightforward on those two. And then we come to the turret. Now this vehicle obviously has a fairly large turret. It has a one-piece barrel in the sense that it's not split into two pieces down the middle. Uh, we do have a muzzle on the end here for it, as well as all of this uh, side pieces. And one thing that I thought was kind of unusual and very happy, happy to see is that Tamiya has gone ahead and put the no skid surface on all of the upper surfaces in here as well as the uh, the body. So that is very, very nice to see. Let's see, take a look at those. And you'll be able to see it a lot easier on the upper part of the hull here. You can see they've gone ahead and put the no skid on all the individual panels here. And it's pretty straightforward. Very large vehicle, much larger than I thought it was going to be. Of course, it is an eight-wheeler, so it's decent size. And then the final regular sprue inside here is some more of the suspension work. We've got uh, the transmission, all those pieces. We've got a couple of figures inside there, all of our tools. And that makes up the majority of the vehicle. So that looks like that should be a, a quick, easy-to-put-together kit. And finally, Tamiya's tires. Now, they are... They are soft. Uh, I actually think this is a real rubber. When you open up the bag and you immediately smell these, this smells like real rubber, not the vinyl that they used to use. So I think these will probably hold up a lot better. And as a typical with all of Tamiya's tires, they, in my opinion, are some of the nicest looking tires anywhere. They, I don't even see a mold seam down the middle of all these, but just, just beautiful. And their tires are second to none. You get eight of those, obviously, since there's eight, eight of them on the vehicle. And then finally, a clear sprue for all of the uh, vision, vision blocks there. And also get a couple of decals and poly caps. So remember, right after I'm done talking here, you'll see all of the sprues laid out for you. And the next kit we're going to take a look inside is the new 140A scale M4A3 E8 Easy 8 Sherman. Yeah, this is obviously based on their 35th scale kit that's been out. And now that we see actual box art, and this is a, a true box, I believe this kit will be out in early July in the United States. So let's take a look inside of it here. So let's take a look at the parts here. To start off, we have our upper and lower hull. And as you can see, it is a multi-part lower hull. Very, very similar to the way the, uh, the 35th scale kit was. We have the sides of the sponsons right here have covers over it, so you won't see any of that light bleed through if you, you know, have your turret open. And just looks, looks like some nice uh, molding. The hatches are all molded into place on here, and your transmission cover has the separate bolts up front here on it as well. Now we can take a look at the, the turret, as well as the engine deck and the figure. And you can hopefully see there's some nice texturing on the, uh, the actual uh, turret as well on the sides here, giving it a nice effect. The, the barrel is mostly one piece for the entire tube part, and only the muzzle brake is broken up into two separate pieces here, just one half on one and one half on the other. So that looks pretty easy and straightforward to put together. And finally, you're going to get two of the same sprue here. And it's basically your wheels, 
your link and link tracks. So you've got a couple big pieces for the, the bottom and the top and some of the pieces that go up and then you just have to glue together a few of these pieces here and even though this is 48 scale they're a decent sized track because it is the easy eight and you can see here the suspensions are all the suspension is all molded as one piece right here so that'll be easy and quick to put together as well as some nice detail on the drive sprocket as well and like i said you get two pieces of that obviously for one for each side you get a separate sprue here for tools, the 50 cal, which that is for 48 scale is molded very, very nicely. And finally, you get a set of decals for both the white and the black stars. And of course, the typical weight, which this is kind of broken up a little bit different than normally. These are actually little tubes of metal that, or not tubes, uh, sticks of metal basically that have some good weight to it so the vehicle doesn't feel like it weighs absolutely nothing and like i'm saying this kit is due out in early july and has a retail of about 33 dollars Okay, the next product I want to show you from Tamiya, very excited about, and hope uh, Tamiya continues to go down this path. And this is their Detail Up Part Series. And they used to, they've done this before, like on the motorcycles, you'll get some photo etch, or sometimes they'll do uh, decals, things like this. But this is all new, at least over here. I haven't seen, this is the first time we were able to get this in the United States. And this is all of their cable. And it comes in four different sizes to start, and it comes in half millimeter, 0.65 millimeter, 0.8 millimeter, and one millimeter. And this is just ideal that if you're detailing up a uh, a car engine or want to put brake lines in, this stuff is the stuff that I used on the Ducati, in fact. And now, to me, is putting it in separate packages. Now, last uh, the begin end of last year, they started coming out with their braided line, which I'll show you a little picture of right here. And now they've added the detail cable to it. Now it only comes out in black right now, but that's the majority of times if you're gonna put brake lines and other type of cables in, it'll be black. But who knows, down the road they might add other colors to it. But uh, hopefully they keep adding this kind of stuff and it's basically just stuff that's right out of their kits just done in a bulk form. So you get two meters, so almost six feet of cabling. So that's quite a bit of cabling and it's under $5. And lastly, I thought I would just show you this came in the box too. And this is something new from them. This is their polishing compound sponges. And these are a real firm sponge. You can see, and this will be really good for using to me as polishing compound. I have to admit, I haven't used to me as polishing compound. I haven't been able to get it in this country for quite a while. But I've heard that it is coming back now. And that would be good because now we have sponges to go along with it. Well, there you go, guys. There's a quick breakdown review of the two new products that are coming out from Tamiya. Both of these will be out fairly soon. And we should also be getting in the new version of the F14D Tomcat, as well as the new 12-scale uh, motorcycle. I believe it's a Yamaha from Tamiya as well, too. Looking forward to all of that. So I want to thank our friends at Tamiya USA for getting us out these early samples. And like I said, I will be starting on both of these. Uh, I haven't decided which one I'm going to start, but I am going to start one of them in the next uh, couple minutes as soon as I'm done editing this video. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching, and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.